producing a large poster in PowerPoint 2010. The first thing to consider when producing a poster is its size. If you are tasked with developing a poster presentation, you will have been advised by your tutor of the size requirement, and that's usually A0 or A1. We do have specialist printers capable of producing these images, available on some of our campuses. So what are the A page sizes? Let's have a look at this table in more detail. If you take two sheets of normal A4 paper and join them together at their longest edge, you'll have a page the size of A3. And if you continue doubling like this, always along the longest edge, you will eventually come to A0. A0 is 16 times larger than A4 and the final dimensions are 1,189 millimetres by 841 millimetres. It's a good idea to try and remember these numbers as publisher does not normally have A0 or A1 available as a standard size. So when I'm ready to start my poster I need to open up PowerPoint and you'll see that we start with a blank project. To alter the page design, which will normally default to A4, we need to select the Design tab. And in the Design tab, we select Page Setup. And we see the Page Setup dialog box. What we need to do here is change the Slide Sized For drop-down box to Custom. And bearing in mind the measurements we looked at before for A0, and the fact that this is now in centimetres, the width for the A0 is going to be 118.9 centimetres and the height is going to be 84.1 centimetres. I've kept my orientation as landscape, but you can change this to portrait if you wish. All you need to do now is click OK to save your page size. It's the same process for A1 or any other size that your tutor may have specified. The required values can be seen in the table that we saw previously. You will have to divide the numbers given in millimetres by 10 to convert them to centimetres. If you need any further help, please don't hesitate to contact digital skills at cumbria.ac.uk or go to the Skills at Cumbria tab in Blackboard for more general help.